If you're looking for cheap and reliable Ultimate Team coins, then definitely go ahead, click the link in the description to vbarrack.com. Like I said, they're very cheap and reliable, and um, definitely worth it. So go ahead and check them out for yourself. Enjoy the video. What's going on from welcome back to another episode of the Leicester career mode here on the Xbox One. Now, as you can see, we have the game against Chelsea um, away at Stamford Bridge. So this is definitely a game that we're going to play. Um, now, I, I saw a lot of comments of you guys saying that you didn't want me to sell Vardy. And obviously, I'm not going to now. But I didn't realise he had 86 sprint speed and 83 acceleration. Because otherwise, I would have played him a lot more. Because we need, like I said in the last episode, we need that person up front who is really quick as well as someone who's quite big and, and strong. And um, Vardy is definitely that guy, considering he's uh, he's he's got the pace. <laughs> so that's good. But anyway, this is the um, this is the lineup we're going to go with. Uh, Schmeichel, we've got our two centre-backs. It's Wazilowski and Morgan. Um, Simpson, Delight, Knockart, uh, Cambiasso, Campbell, uh, Roberto, Nugent and Vardy. Um, now, I'm actually thinking about, well, to be honest, don't we have... Uh, who else do we have? Who else do we have here? Um, yeah, that's probably it, to be honest. That's probably everyone. Maybe I'm thinking about bringing Goretzka on like at halftime or something and seeing how that goes. But anyway, um, let's get into this team, guys, because we do have this hard, difficult game against Chelsea. And to be honest... I don't, I'm not sure how to think of it. I'm not sure what to think of this game going in away at Stamford Bridge. Um, I think it's going to be a really, really difficult game. But anyway, Leicester's away kit is absolutely amazing. That looks so good. But anyway, let's get into this game. Legendary, four minutes, rainy, Stamford Bridge. Here we go. All right, look at Stamford Bridge on this horrible, rainy day. Oh, this is going to be difficult, guys. This is going to be difficult. A really, really tough game. Chelsea have obviously got a well, a fantastic squad. They uh, even like squad depth and everything. Obviously, I'm a Chelsea fan, but the likes of if they if like Williams injured or something, they could just bring on like Sherlock or Salah or someone else. Um, they have so much squad depth; it is unreal. And with that man up front, this is going to be a damn difficult game, a really difficult game because he is insane on FIFA. Um, so here it is. There he is, Casper Schmeichel. Oh, this is not, like this is Vardy's real big test because I kind of want to see what he is like. Now I'm not expecting him to go out and just make an instant impact and score 50 goals. But anyway, wow, Ivanovic, uh, Terry, Martinez, Aspilicueta, Matic, Ramirez, William, Scherler, Fabregas, and Costa. Oh god, that is scary. That is scary. Who's Martinez? I'm not actually sure who that is. But anyway. Hopefully, we can pull something off here and get some sort of result, guys, because um, that would be fantastic. Even a draw away at Stamford Bridge would be ideal. Oh, Jamie Vardy, look at him go. Look at him go. Oh, damn it. Just got tackled, though. Oh, Jamie Vardy passes it to uh, Anthony Knocker. He's going to whip it in, and it is a corner, guys. We started off pretty strong. They come straight at us from kickoff. Um, we've started off fairly strong. We ran straight at them with Jamie Vardy. He's going to be a crucial player in our team, I can I can tell. But Campbell's going to whip that in straight to Courtois, sadly. It will be difficult to get past Courtois because Courtois is like an 86-rated keeper. So it's going to be very difficult to get past him. Um, but hopefully, with the likes of Vardy and uh, David Nugent up front, uh, we can try and pull something off. Oh, what a pass. What a pass. Oh, yes. Scherler's offside. I was a bit nervous. I thought it was just going to be an easy goal, like a little tapping, but he was just offside there. Just uh, trying to pull himself back on. Actually, was he offside? He may have just only been offside because of um, our, our player keeping him on up the top there. But anyway, we were lucky to get past that one. Obviously, Chelsea are going to get a lot of chances in this game because it's they're just playing insane so far. So we were lucky to get past that one. Let's uh, see if we can create a chance like that for our uh, for ourselves. Let's just not get offside, though. Oh, they have the ball on the edge of the box. Oh, good save from Kasper Schmeichel. Nice, easy save. Um, let's see what we can do here. Let's not give it away. All right, do a little dink pass. Oh, damn it, Campbell would have been Campbell would have been off. Oh no, now Matic just got the ball. Pass it into William. Lovely through ball. And an insane challenge there. Oh, and another one. So Cambiasso putting his defensive duties. Now we're on the counter. Come on, Anthony Knockout. Come on. Come on. Let's turn. Pass it to Jamie Vardy. Go on, you got the pace. You got the pace. Vardy, you got the pace. Look at him go. Oh, good challenge. Good challenge. 
Oh, that is a nice bit of play. And that is Scherler's mistake. Is that that can't be. Is that a goal kick? Yes, yeah, a throw into us. Okay. Okay. Nice. Oh, wow. They're getting closer, guys. They're genuinely getting closer. This is um this is nervous because they have had so many chances. Um, they just haven't put one away yet. So we really need to, to bring up our game, to be honest. I don't know whether to just go defensive. because I don't really want to play for the draw, though. Because it's kind of boring to play for the draw. Says Fabregas. William shoots. Good save from Kasper Schmeichel. Oh, no. Oh, no. Cesc Fabregas has scored against us. My, what? Don't I have no idea what my player was doing there with a back heel. Why would you back heel it in the box? And then he just curls it around Kasper Schmeichel. Nothing, that was definitely not Kasper Schmeichel's fault. That was whoever back heeled that. That was their fault. That was a terrible goal to concede. We've done so well up until now. And then that was just a shocking goal to concede. Jeremy Vardy's got past his man. Jeremy Vardy? Oh, it gets blocked. That was good. That was good. Jeremy Vardy, I think he's going to be, like I said, a crucial player for our, for our team. All right, guys. Half time. 1-0 to Chelsea. Now, I've got to say something. I was kind of expecting this result going into Chelsea, uh, going into Stamford Bridge. But from getting a goal like they did... It kind of annoyed me a little bit because it was like a little back heel from, like, mistake from me. I should say me, but, like, the defender, I tried to uh, tried to boot it out. But instead, they just done, like, a little back heel. So, it's kind of disappointing. But hopefully, we can come back from this. Maybe try and get a goal. Um, that would be fantastic. But I'm going to take uh, Cambiasso off. I'm going to bring Goretzka on and put him in that central defensive mid uh, place because he's uh, he's got some fantastic stats. And he's also obviously one for the future, whereas Cambiasso is getting a little bit old now um, and will start decreasing soon. So I'm going to see how uh, how Goretzka can perform in that role. And um, we will uh, see how well he can play against a team like Chelsea. Roberto shoots. Oh, good save from Courtois. That was that was a really good chance there from Sergio Roberto. Go on, can we get that ball? No, we can't. But that was a quality chance there from Sergio Roberto. Um, straight to the keeper, though, sadly. Oh, Fabregas with a chance there. Fabregas with a chance there. This, it's really... I'm not quite sure what to think of Chelsea when they're going for headers because they have kind of average height players. Like, they have Schürrle, which is like, I, I don't know, around 5'11 to 6 foot. And then they have, like, Fabregas as well, which is about the same. Like, they don't have any standout, really tall players. But they have the likes of Diego Costa and stuff, who are just really good at heading. Like, he's not incredibly tall, but he's just really good at heading. Oh, God, that was a poor cross. Oh, that is good. Jamie Vardy. Jamie Vardy finds David Nugent, and he shoots, and he parries it. Courtois has to parry it. He's now corner. Terry looking at him and going, come on. But anyway, that, that was a nice little bit of football there. Um, I guess I kind of panicked the shot, but I kind of wanted to get a shot off and see what happened. But anyway, oh, Courtois picks it up. Pretty poor corner, to be honest, but um, we had the shot. We're, having, we're creating quite a few chances. I'm actually quite pleased with how we're playing. David Nugent's on a run. David Nugent's on a run. He pulls it back, tries to find Sergio Roberto. He finds Jamie Vardy. Jamie Vardy shoots. Oh, that was a shocking shot. That was a terrible shot. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. I tried to go for far post, but as you can tell, far post does not work in FIFA 15. Let's try and make a substitution. Um, who should we bring on? Who should we bring on? I'm thinking maybe we could take Nugent off, put Campbell up front, and um, take... Nugent off put Myrez in right mid because we need that pace up front now uh, to get past the likes of uh, Terry, especially Terry, and Cahill as well because Cahill's quite a fast player. So to get past him um, with pace, that'd be great. So Campbell and Vardy up front, um, are two really pacey players playing as striker. Obviously, one of them are, is naturally a striker, but Campbell's a right to left mid. So we're going to see how he performs. Last time we played him up front, he hit the post. So um, we're going to see how he does. Jamie Vardy finds Campbell. Campbell's going to shoot that. Oh, see, it was a very nice block there. Very nice block. Good defending by Chelsea, but it looks like they're kind of parking the bus. <laughs> no surprise there. But 
Oh, we're getting closer. I I'm pleased with how we're playing. Even though we're losing, you know, I'm really pleased with how we're playing. Come on, Simpson. That is a good challenge by Morgan. And it is full time, guys. We go ahead and lose 1 0 to Chelsea away at Stamford Bridge. Now, you guys might not like that. I personally think that isn't a bad result. We played very well against them, we had some chances. Um, but obviously we, it just wasn't our day. I'm happy with the 1-0 result against Chelsea, honestly. I think it's a good result. Um, even though we didn't really get anything from it, we didn't get any points or anything from it. But if you look, we, had, we managed to have five shots against Chelsea. And uh, arguably, um, probably, the uh, the best team in, in uh, the BPL at the minute and has the highest chance of uh, winning the league. So it was uh, it's, a good, it's a good result. But anyway, transfer offer for Andy King. Um... 950,000. 950,000. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? We're in. We're in August. Okay. Um, <laughs> I didn't even realize. But Andy King. Right. So, is he anyone that I really, really need? Now, I don't think he is, but I'm going to ask for 50,000 pounds more. If we do sell him, I'm going to ask for that. Now, you guys might not like that. Some of you. He's 68 rated and 25 years old. He may be a fan favorite, but this is seriously, guys. This is just FIFA. Just FIFA, seriously. Um, 950,000. You know what? I might take it because uh, it gives us an extra 8,000 pounds on our wages and also some money as well um, for for later on. So I might take that. Um, that could be useful in the future because I don't think he's quite gonna gonna play. Um, now I'm thinking about actually another centre back. So if I go into um, search players and I want to look for um, where are you? Where are you? Nope, you're not there. Okay, let me have a look for him. Alright guys, here he is. Um, Yoshida. This is definitely a guy that I want to try and pick up. He's, um, I don't think he's actually that expensive. Um, and I would love to pick him up. So I'm just going to try and put in, like, level that money out uh, to 1.5 mil. Because I might actually have to have put some money on the wages. But... I would uh, love to bring this guy in. He's only 26 and he's got some fantastic stats. So if I can try and bring him in... Um, I'll be really pleased. And, um... He can then make a great addition to the squad. So transfer offer accepted. Two million pounds for uh, Yoshida. That was easy enough. Um, let's go ahead and get him on a four-year deal. He's going to be a crucial first-team player because I believe he's like mid-70s. Um, so he's definitely going to be someone who plays very well. I thought we already had him, which is why I was looking before Chelsea. Uh, before the Chelsea game, I was looking to... Uh, to uh, his thing. But anyway, contract offer accepted. We can go ahead and accept him. Welcome Yoshida into Leicester. Now guys, let me know your thoughts on his transfer because he personally is a fantastic player. Um, I, I really like him on career mode. 71 overall. Um, he's got good jumping, decent sprint speed. Um, he's got some good stats. Decent stamina. Um, he's also got good slide and stand tackle. Um, I personally think he's a good, he's a good player. He's four star weak foot, two star skill moves, um, and plays centre back. Six foot two, 26 years old. So he's definitely got some time to improve. Um, he will definitely be getting a lot of game time um, for us. So if we look at him, he's 34. So we can actually play him now, um, and that Waza Lewiski uh, guy can actually be um, on our B team. So. Let me know your thoughts, guys, on the uh, on that transfer. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, please go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, all of that good stuff. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. Guys, take care.